Within the last few minutes, it's been reported that the aircraft carrying Bolivia's President Morales has taken off from Vienna in Austria. That's after it was grounded for several hours. The flight had been diverted there. That was because of suspicions that Edward Snowden, wanted in the US for spying, was on board the plane which had left Russia. He wasn't. Bolivia's ambassador to the United Nations has blamed the USA for ordering the plane to be denied passage through European airspace. A lot of issues here. The Euro Bolivian president, Evo Morales, angrily denied any wrongdoing on Wednesday. He told reporters he's not a criminal. He was visited by the Austrian president, Heinz Fischer, while he waited for clearance for his plane to take off. Primero, uh, expresar, uh, respeto, uh, it's a legal issue. It's about respecting international rules. Everyone is looking at what the rules say about international relations and the use of airspace. President Rafael Carrera of Ecuador has called me twice. He's worried and he's considering calling back ambassadors. Well, I'm joined by the BBC security correspondent Frank Gardner and Vladimir Hernandez from BBC Mundo. First, Frank, um, the issue of the phone is picked up by the Americans. They encourage one or two Ameri nations in Europe to close their airspace for a plane like this. Is this normal? No, it's highly unusual, um, and it's, um, it's upset a lot of people uh, on the other side of the world. Just to be clear, the plane wasn't forced down. It was simply that it was temporarily denied permission to cross the airspace of the countries that he needed to cross in order to get from Moscow back to La Paz, Bolivia. So France, Spain, Portugal, all temporarily closed their airspace. Now, the French are saying, no, 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 we didn't deny permission. It just it has got to go through five different authorities, and there wasn't the time to do it. They've now opened that airspace, and as you say, the plane has taken off from Austria, from Vienna. It was searched overnight by the Austrian authorities, clearly on this false tip-off, which is quite embarrassing uh, for everybody. Most of those countries are NATO countries. Austria is not, but clearly, they wouldn't have done this without some kind of communication from the Americans. But Frank, the precedent of closing airspace, mm. in other words, closing the flight path, saying you can't go over our, mm. over our country, then searching a presidential plane. Oh, it's huge. I mean, it's, this, this will be a, a diplomatic uproar, and I would imagine that the Civil Aviation Authority will have something to say about it. Uh, international Aviation Authorities will be upset about it, because it's not a security risk. It's different if you've got suspected terrorists or a device on board or the plane has got a technical fault. That's very different. Um, but this, this was not a security issue. This was simply a matter of, of um, one country's interpretation of, of, of judicial procedure. So what's the response in Latin America? Vladimir Hernandez from BBC Mundo. There's been an angry response from many leaders there. Most of them have gone on to Twitter to, to angrily criticise the decision of not allowing... Who are, they blaming? Who are they naming? Well, they're blaming the US, basically, for being behind this, although we cannot say that Washington has clearly gave an, given an instruction to do this. But many leaders are saying that they've treated President Morales as a criminal on the suspicions that he's carrying someone who, who, who is not even accused in Bolivia of, of any harm. So also, not only the leaders, but on social networks, there's been a huge response from people criticising the move and a lot of anger about it. Frank, what about the acquiescence by a country when the Americans sort of say, we'd like it if you didn't let this plane across your airspace? Um, countries have to weigh up. Um, what they've got to lose by saying no to the Americans to the Americans exactly and you know America is still the the big superpower uh, And I'm not saying whether it's right or wrong. I'm just saying these are the decisions that are made behind closed doors um, One of the curious countries in all of this is Ecuador which seems to have blown hot and cold on the Snowden case because initially Ecuador's ambassador in London um, under advice from WikiLeaks of course issued these papers to Edward Snowden to allow him to, to travel because the US State Department has revoked his passport. Ecuador's ambassador, um, uh, sorry, President rather, President Correa, has now revoked that and said, no, those were not authorised. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, those are not valid papers. So they're now saying, actually, no, he'd have to get to Ecuador for us to give him asylum. So Vladimir, how many countries at the moment might end up as the country where Snowden could see the next stage of his travels? The most likely countries so far are probably Venezuela and Cuba are the ones who... They're still in the game, are they? They're, they're still... Probably, they still it's fair to say they are, yeah, especially because of the political symbolism that Snowden means to them, being they, both those countries, the most critical voices of, against the US and the Americas. Could this plane being essentially forced to, to not go through airspace 
Could that enrage governments enough for one of them to actually now say, we will let him in? Well, it will indeed. And, and although President Morales and President Maduro of Venezuela have, not, have stopped short from saying, yes, we will grant an asylum request, but they've been cl giving clear indications that they will be very favorable if that really happens. And the presidents of South America are meeting today and is expected to, to, to issue a strong condemnation of what happened today. Vladimir Hernandez from BBC Mundo. And Frank, I saw you nodding uh, in that answer to that question. Thank you both uh, for joining me here. You're with BBC World News. Still to come.